Red Feather from Grepax. As you can see, we are utilizing version 1912.3 of KD Live. And we will be showing you how to create split screen videos from the dual to the quad. But before we do this, we must first prepare the KD Live timeline. As you can see, we only have three video slots on the KD Live timeline available. And in order to do the quad, we need four. In order to do this in KD Live, go to the menu bar, click settings, scroll down to configure KD Live. When the KD Live configure window appears, go to project defaults. In the KD Live project defaults, scroll down to tracks, raising it to the level you need, ours being four. Then scroll down to apply and click OK. Now notice nothing has been adjusted yet. First, KD Live must be restarted. Now that we have restarted Kading Live, notice we have four video tracks. Bring in the videos you would like to work with, two, three, or four. During this Kading Live example, we will provide you with the proper dimensions that will work as long as you are rendering at the HD 1080p 60fps as we are. For our Kading Live example, we will start with a vertical side-by-side -side split screen. So let's begin. For this, we will need an effect. We have chosen to use the position and zoom effect. Go to the effects list, type zoom, grab the Kading Live position and zoom, placing it in both videos. Once this is done in Kading Live, highlight one of the videos so as the properties windows appears. In the properties window, put a width of 960. Once this is done in Kading Live, highlight the next video so as its properties windows appears. Place a width of 960. In the X axis, place a value of 960. Then put a check mark in the distort box for each video. For our next Kading Live example, we will show you how to create a horizontal split screen one on top of the other. In the Kading Live effects list, Grab the position and zoom, placing it in both videos. Highlight one so as the properties window appears. In the Kading Live properties window, change the height to 540. Highlight the next video so as its Kading Live properties window appears. Change the height to 540. Then Give the axis Y a value of 538. Then put a check mark in the distort box for both videos. Next, for our Kading Live example, we will show how to create a horizontal triple split screen two on top one on the bottom. In the KDN Live effects list, grab the position and zoom, placing it in each of the videos. Highlight one of the videos for the KDN Live properties window to appear. Place the height at 540. Highlight the next video, also placing it its height at 540. Then give the axis X 
a value of 480. Click back on the first video, giving the axis x a value of negative 480. Then click on the third video, adjusting the Acadian Life height to 540. Then the y axis to 538. And put a check mark in the distort box. Now for the KDN Live quad screen, place a position and zoom in each of the videos. All of the heights will be 540. Then in the first video, place an X value of 480. In the second video, Place a X value of negative 480. For the third and fourth video, place a Y value of 538. Then giving each the X value one of 480 and the other negative 480. Is our Acadian Live rendered project. We hope you have enjoyed this Kading Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber, ringing that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.